Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about my October beauty haul. So in October I shopped with three stores. I did Rose Rose Shop, YesStyle and Beauty Box Korea, which have been sort of like my go-tos. YesStyle I really wanted to shop with them because I wanted to get some skincare, which I forgot to actually get from my skincare collection, but they're not really that interesting, so I'm sure you guys know what they look like anyway. So if I start with my YesStyle haul for skincare that I don't have to show you, I got the Dear Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Serum and the Dear Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Cream. The soothing cream is like my holy grail. I love it so much. I've gone through like four or five tubes in a row at this point and I'm just not super interested in trying anything else at the moment because my skin is kind of like at a 50-50 level right now. Sometimes it's getting some acne and sometimes it's staying clear uh, for no good reason. So it's a bit frustrating but it's fine. I decided to try the soothing serum again because I have tried it previously and really liked it. I feel like my skin is just really really dry at the moment so even the serum isn't doing the best job. I really start, need to like start layering stuff up but um, we will see. The other thing that I got was a Dolly Wink liquid eyeliner. It's just my usual regular one which again is not sitting right beside me so you will have to use your imagination but it's the same liquid liner that I got last time and the time before and the time before and the time before. From YesStyle, I also got one of the Holika Holika Devil's Plumper. This is the matte base. I also got the glowy topper as well from another store. Um, but the matte base I have been using pretty much every day. Like honestly, I don't, I don't know why I like this one that much, but it actually makes my lips like super smooth and like silicone-y. I'm 95% sure that it's actually putting some sort of layer of something on top of my lips, but honestly, it's doing a great job and I'm not displeased by it at all. They're also not so spicy that I'm going to like die. I wouldn't want to lick my lips because it does actually hurt my tongue but for the lips itself no problems for me. And I am like white girl level spice like not good with spiciness or anything that's like considered hot so I feel like they're just not that hot. I also picked up the Sema Cover Perfection Tip Concealer. I actually got this in the shade 1 rather than 05 because the 05 looked like it was just straight up pink. Um, and the number 1 unfortunately is a little bit too dark. I didn't find that this was the best concealer, um, but you guys will see a review on it soon. I was also surprised that it was so small, like this is teeny 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 tiny. I picked up a Laneige Pore Control BB Cushion in the shade 11 Porcelain. I only picked up the refill for this, so it's only the actual product itself and the cushion puff rather than having the actual container because to be honest I go through these really really quickly because I use them for swatches for makeup when I'm reapplying and doing different colors of blush and things like that and they never actually really leave my house so I don't actually need the cover on top it's extra money to spend and it's extra waste for the environment I don't need it I should you know, this is totally fine. The last thing that I picked up is the Peach C Peach Glow Makeup Base. And this one, it smells really, really nice, but it's like, like it does smell like peaches, but it smells like a very specific type of peach, like almost like peach mixed with alcohol. I don't know, it's kind of like a, a peach and something. Not just straight up peaches, but it does look really nice. It kind of gives you a nice shiny glow without being too brightening. I was kind of concerned that this was going to be like a tone up base, but I don't really see any tone up effect at all. It's just really like luminescent, which is really pretty. Plus, it smells like peaches. The next store that I shopped with was Rosary Shop, and I picked up from them the Etude House Soft Drink Tints. So I have five colors here, and what's really strange is that three of them come in this box that have like a little window. And then the pink one doesn't come with a window, it's got like a totally different looking box. But the rest of the stuff is the same, it's just that it hasn't got a window cut out and it hasn't got like this little push thing. So these ones look like they're like a little like soda dispenser. This one is just a picture of the bottle, um, which is really strange. The other one is the milk one, which I don't have the packaging for at the moment because I love this one. So I'm definitely going to keep it so we can get rid of the packaging. But this one actually had like a totally different price to the other ones. Like, I don't know why this one is much more expensive, but it does smell and taste delicious. Like, oh, so good. And it does look really, really nice. So those are really cute, but I have no idea why the packaging is different and the price of the other one is different. I also picked up the Misha Velvet Like Color Sticks. I got the contouring collection. So there is like a medium color, there is a deeper color, and then there is a highlighter. These ones, there are blushes in the collection as well, but I only wanted to try out the contours because I have so many blush products at the moment. And honestly, stick blush products don't always work the best for me. 
but these are actually so nice especially if you're looking for a contour that's really easy to use and doesn't look too over the top I so so recommend this color for that I don't know what it's called um, but it's the middle contour color there's no mm, eh. yeah no I have no idea what it is but I'll find out in when I do the review but I actually really like these I do use the deepening one just a little bit but I don't really have a huge amount of use for the highlighting one because I find that it's just a little bit too bright and glittery I don't love the highlight but I absolutely love this one Another Misha product is the Misha Color Filter Face Palette. This is the Glow Edition, and I have mine in the shade number one, Coral Wants Me. This is such a cool little palette. It's got two blush shades, three highlighters, and then two contouring shades. No, three contouring shades and two highlighters. So those two are the highlighters, and then these three are the contours. I kind of get that one mixed up a little bit because it looks like it's the right color for a highlight like it's really light it's not really a very contour like color um, I really wish that these ones weren't orange because I feel like this is such a cool little setup I just don't like the orange colors like this peach is really pretty but a lot of the other colors I don't have a huge amount of use for but you will see me use this one in my get ready with me next week anyway I picked up two products for brows I got the Innisfree two-tone brow kit I think that's what it's called yeah, two-tone eyebrow kit. I got mine in the shade number two, I think, which is dark gray maybe. And I really, really enjoy this one actually. It's kind of hard to, it's kind of a pain to open it, honestly. Like I have to use my nail. But there is a tiny, tiny little bit of a lighter shade here, but the majority of it is that darker shade, which is in my brows at the moment. So nice, so dark, like dark gray. It looks so good. I actually love this. And then the other brow one is a more interesting one. This is the Up Hue Skinny Brow Concealer. And this actually conceals dark eyebrows. So I managed to conceal mine to like a lightish blonde color. Obviously it doesn't conceal them all the way out to nothing and it is only one color. So the concealer color itself is not the color of my skin. It's pretty much like the color of this tube, which does not suit the, I, but I don't want my brows to completely disappear. So in that aspect, it's not problematic. I did want to try and see if I could make my brows pink so that it matched um, my hair when I dyed it again. But the pink that I was trying to use in my eyebrows didn't really show up. And then all of the other brighter pinks that I've got are really shimmery and I don't want shimmery brows. So I'm going to have to have a think on that. But the concealer itself is really good. I also picked up the Petty Petta, what is it called? Pure Blushed Velvet Cheek Pink Moment Collections. I'm sorry, I forget all of the names because they're not actually for the most part on the products in English, so I don't know the names. I have them written down in front of me on a laptop, which is why I keep looking down to look at what I'm supposed to be talking about. I have been using these a little bit, but I haven't been the biggest fan of them. I did try some of the Petty Petta watercolor cheeks previously and I really liked them, but these ones seem to have like a really weird texture. Like they, like you can kind of see it on the pan here. But whenever I try and pick the product up, it goes into like these little balls. And honestly, like, it's so bizarre. It's just, I don't know. But this color is really pretty. This is the Emotional Dry Lilac, which I think is really nice. I also got the entire collection of the Petty Petta Ink Velvets. These are the new ones. So they're different to the other velvets, but not really by that much. I'm wearing number eight, which is Sellout Red at the moment, and I really, really like them. They have a slightly different applicator. They're a lot less annoying in terms of packaging and product. Um, and the colors are really pretty. I don't like a lot of them, but I mean, they're just kind of a bit samey. Like there's a lot of reds in the collection so far and there's only one pink. So, you know. I picked up the Marmande All Stay Foundation. This one is in the shade 13 and honestly, it's a beautiful shade. It's not perfect, perfect. And this packaging, like it's a very small amount of product. This is only 20 mils. It's expensive for 20 mils, oh my god, but it is really, really nice. So I have to test this one out a little bit more before talking about it though. I also got, which I haven't tried yet, the 3W Collagen Foundation. This one is in the lightest shade, which I think is probably just shade number one, or if it did come with other shades, I'm not actually sure. Um, I haven't actually swatched all of these in comparison to the rest of the foundations yet, so I still have to do that, which I'm interested in, very interested to see what they look like. Um, but this one looks like it is going to be too dark, so we will see how that goes too. I picked up this really interesting blusher palette from Cleo. This is the Cleo Pro Blusher Palette in Mute Petal, and it's got six different shades in here. So we've got basically 
four blushes and then two highlights. This pink one here is like the coolest glitter if you were like going to a festival, but for me it's not like an everyday wearable thing. But I have literally not seen this one anywhere else, so it is really interesting to try and play with. And then for cheeks, I also got the Sem Eco Soul Contour Palette. This one was recommended to me, but I can't figure out who recommended it because I can't find any comments anywhere. So I'm really confused. Um, but I definitely didn't think about this one on myself by myself. It is really cool though. I love the packaging. It's like the nicest packaging of all time. You guys have already seen the review on this one. It's already up. So if you want to see more about this one, go check it out. And then the last thing I got from Rosa Shop was the Lily by Red mood cheat kit in number one which is peach energy so i have number two which i love and i really wanted to try out the peach one honestly i feel like the peach one is not like so good for me because i really like the other colors in the other one but it is nice to have it for something different it's more of like warm soft browns which i think are really pretty and then the last stuff they shopped at was beauty box korea where i got basically all of the leftover stuff so i got one of the Petit Petit ink velvets which was number one the good brick which for some reason was sold out a lot of places so beauty box korea had it thankfully as well as the holika holika devil's plumper in the number two which is the glowy topper which again is spicy but it's not so spicy that i need to like cry on camera about it so yes and no and then the other two products were some interesting ones i picked up something from i meme which i don't know if it's supposed to be meme like isn't like the joke meme or like mimi so i'm not 100 percent on that one but this is the afternoon tea blusher palette and it is really really cute it's got three different colors you've got a peach a pink and then a sort of rosy red the only thing that annoys me is with the packaging it doesn't have a little divot to put like a fingernail in to open it so you have to kind of like really press quite hard and it's, it's a bit of a pain to open honestly but it is really pretty so you've got um Hibiscus tea, rosy tea, and chai tea. It's got the translations on the back, which I very much appreciate. And then I also have a eyeshadow palette from Peach C. So I haven't actually tried the Peach C palette or the I Meme blush palette yet because these uh, products from Beauty Box Korea only came very recently. They were very late for no good reason. Um, I don't think they were actually like that late. I think that Rose Rose Shop and Yes Style just sent theirs a lot quicker. Like. It took a week to actually send out the products from Beauty Box Korea. I don't know, they might have been hard to source. Don't know, I just haven't had these for a very long time, so I can't tell you much about them. But that is what the palette looks like. It's really, really pretty, and I have swatched it, and the shades look so, so, so pretty. So this is just like a general warm, neutral brown, whereas if you look at it in comparison to the Lily by Red, because I was like, did I just get to the same palettes? Um, they do look a lot different. So the Lily by Red, flip it around the right way. The Lily by Red is a lot more warm and peach. This one is sort of not peach, but just warm brown. So there you go. I am really excited to try this though because I really like the colors in the soft brown one um, because this one I couldn't find it on any of the other websites. So not Yestella, not a Rose Rose shop, but I really, really, really wanted to try it and it was a lot more expensive at Beauty Box Korea. So I just kind of bit the bullet and got it. So I really, really hope that it is good. <laughs> So that is it for this month's beauty haul. Let me know what you guys are looking forward to. And I am going to do the get ready with me for the stuff that I'm talking about in October next week. And then there'll be another get ready with me in November. Oh my gosh. And then one more haul and we'll be at the end of the year. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.